For many decades, the trans community in Hollywood was unheard of, and if there were any movies or TV shows about this subject, there were only a handful. But with the modern decades and with TV shows like Glee, Orange is the New Black, and RuPaul's Drag Race that brought this type of topic to the mainstream media. It gave birth to so many other shows that included trans actors and actresses and also brought awareness to this subject matter. These couple of decades have also brought about talented trans actors and actresses that prove their worth in Hollywood. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch, and in this video, we're going to talk about 22 famous transgender Hollywood celebrities. Starting off our list at number 22, we have Chaz Bono. Chaz openly self-identified as a lesbian in a cover story in a famous American homosexual monthly magazine The Advocate in 1995, while identifying as a woman and several years after being outed as a lesbian by the tabloid press. Chaz went through a female-to-male gender transition between 2008 and 2010. His transformation began a year previously, according to a two-part Entertainment Tonight article in June 2009. He formally changed his gender and name in May 2010, becoming Chaz, a documentary on Chaz's experience, premiered at the 2011 Sundance Film Festival and was eventually broadcast on the Opera Winfrey Network. When Chaz Bono, the son of iconic singer Cher and Sonny Bono, came out in 2009, he was one of the first out and proud public people to lead this new movement. Bono knocked down various barriers for trans individuals in mainstream media when he came out as a trans guy in 2009. He was the first trans man to compete on a major network TV show for something other than being transgender on Dancing with the Stars. Despite Chaz making history and inspiring countless others along the way, Cher had a hard time grappling with his decision to transition. Look, I didn't handle all that well in the beginning, Cher said in a December 2020 interview with She Knows. It took me a minute, because you've been with a child for 40 years, and then all of a sudden. Once Cher realized that Chaz was much happier once he began living his truth, her love for her child only got bigger. She said that she had to sympathize with his struggles and put herself in his shoes in order to see life from his perspective. At number 21, we have Michaela J. Rodriguez. Netflix's TV show Pose is a first of its kind, set in 1987's New York, it features a wide variety of LGBTQ characters and focuses a lot on trans issues. Michaela Antonia J. Rodriguez, known professionally as Michaela J. Rodriguez and formerly as MJ Rodriguez is one of the actresses, who plays Blanca in the show. In an interview with Playbill, Michaela J. Rodriguez mentioned that she began transitioning to a woman in 2012 after Rent closed. She went on hiatus as she started her hormone replacement therapy, and after she came back, she had numerous theater gigs and TV roles like in The Carrie Diaries, Luke Cage, Pose, and she is also said to be starring as the main character of an up-and-coming TV series called Loot. At number 20, we have Zaya Wade. Zaya Wade is the 14-year-old daughter of Dwayne Wade, a former NBA player. Dwayne Wade told the Today Show after she publicly coming out as trans in 2019 that being her father has helped him grow. I didn't know anything, really wasn't knowledgeable about the LGBTQ plus community, he said. What it has done is it opened my eyes and my ears to something greater and bigger than I, and my daughter has allowed us gracefully to be her support system. She's the strong one in this family. She's a hero. At number 19, we have Tommy Dorfman. Tommy Dorfman revealed she's trans in an interview with Time in July 2021, after showing off photos of her changing style and appearance on Instagram for a year. I kept, on Instagram, a diaristic time capsule instead, one that shows a body living in a more fluid space, she explained about her decision to continue posting on social media. At number 18, we have Zion Moreno. Zion Moreno rose to prominence as a transgender model before transitioning to acting, appearing in Netflix's Control Z. Zion Moreno was announced to join the cast of HBO Max's reboot of Gossip Girl in 2020. Moreno's character Luna is one of the rich kids with a bad attitude in the first season, which premiered last summer. The executive producer of Gossip Girl, Joshua Safran, revealed to Variety in July 2021 that Luna is transgender in the series. At number 17, we have Asia Kate Dillon. Asia Kate Dillon was cast as Brandy Epps on Netflix's Orange is the New Black in 2016, but most people know her as Taylor Mason on Showtime's Billions. By playing Mason, Dillon became the first non-binary actor to play a non-binary character on television. In 2019, Asia Kate told Good Morning America that the role helped them better understand their own identity. Asia Kate made headlines in 2017 when they spoke out about the Emmy's gendered award categories. It's not the first time I've thought about 
about this, but it was certainly the first time where I felt like I had a unique opportunity and a platform to engage in the conversation about questions that I had. Asia Kate told Variety. In response, the MTV Movie and TV Awards created a gender-neutral acting award category, which Asia Kate presented that year. Coming in at the number 16 spot, we have Alex Blue Davis. Alex Blue Davis began his career on shows such as Two Broke Girls and NCIS, but he is best known for his role on Grey's Anatomy, where he played an intern named Dr. Casey Parker, who is openly trans. Showrunner Krista Vernoff said she rewrote Parker's coming out plotline several times. Ultimately, the character says, I'm a proud trans man, Dr. Bailey. I like for people to get to know me before they find out my medical history. At number 15, we have Nicole Maines. Before acting, Nicole Maines was the subject of several documentaries that focused on the trans experience. In 2016, she was profiled in HBO's The Trans List, and in 2018, she was profiled again in Not Your Skin. She then moved into acting, becoming the first trans superhero on TV in 2018. Nicole Maines played a reporter named Nia Now on CW Supergirl. The character eventually turned into the superhero Dreamer. Maines remained on the show until its end in 2021. I've been doing a lot of auditions lately because a lot of different shows have been really eager to tell the story of transgender people, Maine said at Comic Con in 2018. It seems only fitting that we have a trans superhero for trans kids to look up to. I wish there was a trans superhero when I was little. At number 14, we have Hunter Schaefer. Hunter's portrayal of Jules in Euphoria exemplifies the significance of trans representation for teenagers. Jules is open about her identity in the show and is self-assured. Still, Hunter believes the media still has a long way to go when it comes to trans representation. There need to be more roles where trans people aren't just dealing with being trans, they're being trans while dealing with other issues, she told Variety. We're so much more complex than just one identity. We have another post star at number 13, India Moore. India Moore began as a model, but they really rose to prominence when they were cast as Angel on FX's Pose. As a trans and non-binary person, they became a mainstream success, booking more modeling gigs and eventually becoming Elle's first trans cover model. India Moore stated in that cover story that activism is one of the most important aspects of their lives. India Moore will appear in the upcoming Aquaman sequel, as Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, another huge step forward for trans representation. At number 12, we have Jamie Clayton. Jamie Clayton is best known for her role as Nomi Marks in Netflix's Sense8, in which she plays a trans hacker who gains the ability to see into the minds of eight other people all over the world. Jamie Clayton went on to appear in a number of other TV shows after the show ended in 2018, including Designated Survivor, Roswell, New Mexico, and The L Word, Generation Q. In 2022, she'll take on the iconic role of Pinhead in the Hulu reboot of Hellraiser. Outside of media, Clayton has become an activist for trans rights, especially trans visibility in Hollywood. Coming in at the number 11 spot, we have Tom Fellin. Tom Fellin, like Hunter Schaefer, has a limited acting resume, but his performance in The Fosters was groundbreaking. He was one of the first transgender actors to play a young transgender character. Cole, his character on the show, deals with taking hormones and misgendering. In 2015, he told The Hollywood Reporter that while his character is great for trans visibility, he is concerned that it will not have a large enough impact. At the number 10 spot, we have Elliot Fletcher. Elliot Fletcher's first trans role was on MTV's Faking It in 2016, and he has since played trans characters such as Trevor on Showtime Shameless and Aaron Baker on The Fosters. Most recently, he starred in Why, The Last Man is Sam, a very interesting character. The show investigates what would happen if every mammal with a Y chromosome died suddenly. The graphic novel on which the show is based makes no mention of trans men, who, of course, would not be affected by the virus. However, one of the main characters in the Hulu adaptation is Sam, a trans man whose character was able to bring a sense of modernity to the source material. We change it up a lot, Elliot Fletcher told Men's Health in November 2021. The show reverses traditional gender roles, or what are thought to be traditional gender roles, because there are no cis men in this world, and cisgender is so often the assumed default. At the number 9 spot, we have Josie Tota. Prior to transitioning, Josie Tota appeared in a number of TV shows, including Jesse, Glee, and Liv and Maddie, and she starred as Michael Patel in NBC's Champions right before coming out. She came out as transgender in 2018 and prefers the pronouns she, her. Tota has continued to act, appearing in the other two and No Good Nick before taking the lead in the Saved by the Bell reboot in late 2020, which returned for a season 2 in 2021. Josie Tota also serves as a producer on the show. 
At number 8, we have Jen Richards. Jen Richards is best known for her co-production of the web series Her Story. She also played Violet in the show, which received a Primetime Emmy nomination in 2016. Jen Richards has since starred in Nashville, Better Things, and Tales of the City. Aside from acting, Jen Richards promotes trans visibility and fights for trans rights. She, for example, founded the Trans 100, an organization that honors and recognizes people and organizations that are doing good in the trans community. She has also spoken out about how important it is to cast trans people in trans roles. If they cast a cis woman, they're ultimately saying a trans woman is a type of woman, Richards told Variety. They cast a cis man, they're saying that, at the end of the day, a trans woman is a kind of man. Right from the moment you cast a man as a trans woman, you've already proven that you are out of step. At number 7, we have Alexandra Billings. Alexandra Billings was the first transgender person to play a transgender character on television when she played Donna in 2005's Romy and Michelle, in the beginning. And she has since played trans characters in How to Get Away with Murder, Grey's Anatomy, ER, Ellie Stone, and Goliath. However, the actress is best known for her portrayal of Davina on Amazon's Transparent. She has also spoken out against cisgender people playing trans roles. In an opus ed for HuffPost, she expressed her displeasure with Jared Leto's Oscar-winning performance as a trans woman in Dallas Buyers Club. She was particularly irritated by the actor's failure to acknowledge the trans community in his Golden Globes acceptance speech. Coming in at the number six spot, we have Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Marie Jenner, previously known as Bruce Jenner, is an American media personality and retired Olympic gold medal winning decathlete. She is widely known as the father figure in the hit reality TV show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Although there were already speculations about Bruce Jenner's sexuality long before she became Caitlyn, all speculations came out the window when she officially declared herself as transgender in 2015. Her coming out story made headlines across the world, and she became an inspiration for so many people, especially to the trans community, and she won many awards for it. In a 20 over 20 interview with Diane Sawyer in April 2015, Caitlin mentioned that she had dealt with gender dysphoria since she was a child and that for all intents and purposes, I'm a woman. Bruce wore women's clothing for many years and took hormone replacement therapy, but she stopped after her romance with Kris Kardashian grew more serious, leading to their marriage in 1991. Caitlin claims that she was allowed to explore her gender identity on her own travels but not when they were together, and that not understanding how to deal with the various concerns contributed to the breakdown of their 23-year marriage, which legally dissolved in 2015. In 2015, Jenner said that she has never been sexually attracted to men, but always to women, and that, given the difficulty that many people have understanding the difference between sexual orientation and gender identity, she would identify as asexual for the time being. Jenner had cosmetic surgery and sex reassignment surgery in January of 2017. Though she was one of the big stars that gave light to the trans community, her political views and conservative ideologies are continuing to give her a bad reputation. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you wanna watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Any support you provide us will help us provide you with more and better content. Okay, now back to the story. At number 5, we have Trace Lee Set. Trace Lee Set debuted on the Amazon series Transparent in 2014 as she, an openly trans woman who works as a yoga instructor and educator. In 2017, Lee Set made headlines when she accused her Transparent co-star Jeffrey Tambor of inappropriate sexual behavior on set. Outside of Transparent, Lee Set has appeared on FX's Pose and Hustlers. More recently, she hosted a six-part podcast series for Wondery called Harsh Reality, which is about a controversial British reality TV show that started a transgender woman. At number 4, we have Brian Michael Smith. Brian Michael Smith has been appearing in TV shows such as Gossip Girl, Girls, Chicago PD, Blue Bloods, and After Since 2011, but he has always played a cis straight man. Smith did not come out as trans until 2017 through his character on OWN's drama series Queen Sugar. Brian Michael began starring in 911, Lone Star on Fox in 2020, making him the network's first black trans male series regular. Brian Michael is proof that it is possible for trans actors to play cis roles, as the trans community pushes for more trans actors to play cis roles. In November 2021, People magazine included Smith and their Sexiest Men Alive list, he is the first trans man to be named on the annual list. 
At number three, we have Dominique Jackson. Dominique Jackson is best known for her role as Electra Abundance on FX's groundbreaking show Pose, which aired for the final time in 2021. In season one, Electra's character decides to undergo sex assignment surgery, also known as bottom surgery, and as a result, she loses some friends and her boyfriend. Throughout the years, many people have had this misconception about being transgender and they have always come from their comfortability, Jackson told Metro in 2019. But we also have to realize that having gender-affirming surgeries, it is a personal journey. Every trans person's journey ends in a certain place. My version of complete was bottom surgery. A lot of people just thought we did this surgery because it's always about getting a man or something like that. Outside of acting, Dominique Jackson has also written a book titled The Transsexual from Tobago, which chronicles her personal journey. Standing strong at the number two spot, we have Elliot Page. Getting his start in Juno in 2007, which earned him an Oscar nomination, Page has also made a name for himself in Netflix's Umbrella Academy as Vanya Hargreaves and Tales of the City as Shauna Hawkins. In 2020, Elliot Page came out as transgender. I love that I am trans, Page wrote in a statement in 2020. And I love that I am queer. And the more I hold myself close and fully embrace who I am, the more I dream, the more my heart grows and the more I thrive. To all the trans people who deal with harassment, self-loathing, abuse, and the threat of violence every day, I see you, I love you, and I will do everything I can to change this world for the better. Finally, at number one, we have Laverne Cox. Laverne Cox shot to fame in 2013 when she began playing Sophia Bursett on Netflix's Orange is the New Black, in which she portrayed a transgender inmate in a women's prison. Laverne Cox was nominated for three Emmys for her role on the show. She was the first openly transgender person to be nominated for a primetime Emmy in the category of acting in 2014. She became the first openly transgender woman to win a daytime Emmy in 2015 for executive producing Laverne Cox Presence, the T word. Laverne Cox has appeared in a few other TV shows, including The Mindy Project, Dear White People, and Curb Your Enthusiasm, as well as the Oscar-winning film Promising Young Woman, but she has rebranded as a transgender rights activist. What do you think about our list? Are you a fan of these actors and actresses? Did we miss anything or anyone that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.